Why has the subject of litigants in person become such an important issue? It might be worth pausing for a moment to define our terms. A litigant in person is the term used in criminal, civil and family courts to describe individuals who exercise their right to conduct legal, legal proceedings on their own behalf. Please note that it is their right and they have chosen to exercise that right. There are a variety of reasons why this is the case. Part of the answer lies in the fact that we, as family practitioners, are meeting with litigants in person on a far more regular basis. These include practice areas such as injunctions, children, divorce, finances and so on. Whilst litigants in person have always been able to conduct their own cases, there has been an enormous increase over the last few years. This has meant that we need to think carefully about how we approach cases where our opponent is unrepresented. I have given you a list of cases that have arisen over the last few years. Under the heading of no special treatment by the court, Tinkler and Elliot in 2012, the self-representing Mr. Elliot failed to attend a trial but instead submitted a medical certificate of unfit unfitness to attend court. The High Court set aside the judgment holding that Mr Elliot had a good reason for not attending the original hearing. The Court of Appeal restored the original court's decision holding that the court rules need to be rigorously applied and there was no special rules for litigants in person. In the case of Jones and Longley, 2015, the court said that litigants in person are not subject to any special rules and are as liable as represented litigants to have cost orders made against them. In Barton and Wright Hassel in 2018, the Supreme Court decided that the civil procedure rules would not be applied differently to unrepresented litigants. Whilst the court could offer leeway in how litigants were handled during the case management hearings or during the trial, this would not usually justify applying a lower standard of compliance with the rules or orders of the court. The court also indicated that solicitors should not be expected to flag up procedural mistakes made by litigants in person in other, um, on the other side. 